Napoleon, Total War, Russia, Part 3. In this episode, you're going to see basically high-level movement on the map. You're going to not see any building in the background. Um, and that's basically what's going to go on in this episode. Hopefully you find it somewhat interesting. Um, what you're going to see in this episode is that Vienna, the capital of Austria, seems to be the target for the French and the Spanish. There's going to be some going back and forth with that capital changing hands a number of times. I, as the Russians, do not want to keep that capital. I don't want that capital. I would prefer the Austrians took it. But until such time as they do take it, I will continue to do what I can to take it back to make sure that the Austrians can take it. When I take it back, however, I'm not going to leave my troops in it because I only have two functional armies that are in combat in the game. I do have other armies like in Greece and in the area that you would call Istanbul, but they're basically there to secure those particular positions. The French are now re-attacking Vienna after I took it. This is what I mean, it's just going to be a back and forth battle. I can't afford to fight a healthy French or Spanish army after I have fought one battle to retake Vienna. So I then need to go and heal in a friendly province. What you're going to see here now is me basically beefing up one army so that it's more on par with an actual army. This is me basically starting to contemplate what I want to put in my second army, where it should be. Because in order for me to push against the French, I need more armies here, or I need to alter my tactics. Here I am going after Vienna again, after I've hit a, a turn or so to heal, reoccupying it, taking it back. going to heal what I can so that when the Austrians take it or if I take it, you know, hopefully it's excuse me, in better shape. So there I am again moving away from the city, push these French back. The other thing you're going to see here is that you're not going to see any actual battlefield battles. Everything you're going to see is going to be auto-resolved because I'm doing this at a high level. Just so you can understand tactics at a high level on the game map. That French army is very weak. It's too weak to even make an attack against you know, Croatia. So it's not something I really need to try and defend. Even though those six pound horse guns are fairly high leveled up, I want to give this general 12 pounders. Because 12 pounders have better melee, they have longer range, they do more damage, so I'm going to switch those guns out for something else. So I'm going to add the 12 pounders in here. Okay. Bring the 12 pounders over to be added in. That second army is very, very small now. It's very, not very effective. It's going to take some time to build it up. Here come the Spanish again attacking Vienna. That's a full stack. That's going to be a hard one to push out. I'm healed yet to the point right now I'm not healed yet. Let me 
generals so they can heal while they stand. Here comes the artillery. Better. Much better. the Spanish went and pursued the Austrians, they're weaker. Let's see what we can do here. that it, it does not belong to B anymore. But it is gray, or is that yellow? It looks like it is Austrian controlled. It is Austrian controlled. Awesome. Let's start moving west now to try and take some of the French territory because as you can tell from the map they've taken northern Italy, Switzerland, Tyrol. That's a lot of extra money they have in their pockets right now. So we'll take some of that away. Peacefully occupy. This particular province is a good one to keep in the game because it can only be attacked from two landward sides, which makes it easier to defend. You want to be attacked from the east and the west. Army's healed, that means we can go marching again. Where to though? Where should we go? That's a tough decision. We need some additional friends here. How about some Italian friends? Take this, let's liberate it. We can use the Italians as a buffer to help us. Don't need that guy. The other guy, however, he can go back and join the other army. That's very, very slowly building up to be an actual army. Sneaky Spanish snuck all the way down there. Attacking Istanbul. Got it under siege. Glad I have a second army up there in Bohemia. We have them come and get rid of that. Got there in time, nothing burned in Istanbul, which is a good thing. Uh, because the Russians are so far spread out, I tend to try and position troops in reserve to respond to or cover multiple areas, like the one in Bohemia was there to cover Little Tartary and to cover Istanbul. Still deciding what to do. Don't know where to go with their Russian army yet. But I don't think there are any French or Spanish behind our lines at this point. Which is a good thing. Much better. 
and they'll go back up roughly to where they were. general here improve their chances the next time they get attacked. Okay. And because we are a landlocked nation for the most part, I can't pull these armies out of Greece and Istanbul and I can go and fight the French because the Spanish will come and invade me via sea. So what do we got going on now? Not a bad army, but it's not a good army yet. Not enough money to do anything right now. You're healed, which means you can't pick another direction. Surely his army is leveling itself up, which is a good thing. And as before, pull out. No reason to stay there. French army in Tyrol. Ugh. French just took Castle Hessen. French are slowly making their way through the smaller countries. It's gonna cause me problems. Alright, there we go. Pyrrhal's out of their hands now. So we'll get some additional income from that. Create a minor buffer for Vienna and the Austrians. It, from the game concept, I... It's a curiosity thing, you know, with the flags turned off, you really can't tell what's going on with other countries. But I don't see the Austrians doing as much as I would have hoped. Alright, let's see what's going on. We have that... Austrians are down there, you know, offering some support. And here come the Spanish again. This time there are Austrians there. That's a full Spanish stack. Ouch. Yeah, I can't fight a full stack and a half stack. Not with some armed citizenry. So Tyrell's gonna fall again. A lot of seesaw battles here. Makes it very difficult to gain some initiative. Uh, the reason we didn't do anything in Piedmont is I'm actually hoping that the Italians will take that province. Because then I'll have a few turns before it's reattacked by the French. We've taken out the Swiss now, and we admit that that's a protectorate. Typically, the French don't reattack that that quickly, so that'll be a nice buffer and or a place to rest troops if I need to. I have to move back up into there and retake Tyrol now. Oh, it says we got a good advantage. It's a lot of line troops though. Troops are better. Victory, yes. 
But we are damaged now significantly. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, we can retake that. Don't want to stay there because if I get hemmed in, it's my best army at this point. Spanish on the move. Well, that was a mistake. I'm just gonna power resolve and die. Feeling at a reasonable pace there. Let's pull back to there. And here come the French again attacking Tyrol. What's he got? No general, but a unit of guard. Ouch. So we can retake that after a turn or two of healing. Which will be good. And here we go again. Retake that. Doesn't look like they have any Spanish aid this time. The nice thing about destroying the Spanish out here is it takes them many turns, I would guess. Um, one, two, three, four, maybe six to eight turns to get more Spanish troops up here to the front. I'm going to have to do something about the Spanish to reduce their income, to reduce their ability to create troops and assist the French. I can't evade the sea, so that means I'm going to have to go in through northern Spain. That'll be a challenge, because in order to take Madrid, I'm going to need an army and a half or two armies. Okay. We'll be able to hold Tyrol at this point. The Spanish army slipped past me in the last of winter. I have to go and finish them off. healthy, we're not as healthy as they are, but we have no choice, we have to. Because if we don't fight them, they'll sneak behind us and they'll take Venice. Okay, there we go. Alright. Question now is... Yes, let's take this, because we need to eliminate the ability for the French to come up from the south at Venice and Tyrol and the Italians. We'll siege this, and we'll eventually just take it. Okay. Now we're going to have to stay there a bit. The general did die, so we're going to have to get a new general for that army. star okay well, that army I have to come down here and they will become the maybe they'll become the placekeepers here in Rome to hold that province and maybe move south to Naples. I'm not sure. Depends on what else the French are doing. Oh my goodness. Looked away from the map for a few turns and the French have taken Berlin and they're moving through the Prussians like a hot knife through butter. Alright, that's going to make this challenging now. Um, makes me a little ticked off too that the Prussians don't fight better against the French because they don't have to worry about me or the Austrians I don't I don't understand that part of the game it's not an aggressive AI all right here's this army here it's a good army other army 
let's see. Make a run at that? Should we not make a run at that? I don't know. It's Baden-Württemberg. If we can take it, we can liberate it, and Baden-Württemberg will be back into play on the map as a buffer state slash placekeeper. Let's see what happens now. Odds are good. Good. It's a very not so good army, as you can tell from looking at the chevrons. There were very few that had one chevron. There were some that had no chevrons, but you know, those are the troops I could buy at this point. Here, because the French had moved so far east, I'm going to move to southern France and cause some chaos. can we see that's going on here now you can see that we're moving into southern France now it's gonna be the first province we attack them so it's actually part of France proper I'll take that out peacefully occupied for now because I want to I need this for a turn or so to heal forward the border then we'll decide what to do we've taken bottom or to burp the question is there are it's a full French army Alsace Lorraine that's too powerful for me to knock off with my Russian army so that's gonna be a challenge okay, here we go we'll get to southern France French we basically got behind the French, they have nothing defending their rear at this point, so we're going to do as much damage as we can to them economically as possible. We're also going to try and hurt the Spanish too. So let's see everything we can do at this point. Alright. I don't want to keep any of these though. Because I'm trying to cause chaos, I'm going to just basically burn everything down and hope, slash keep my fingers crossed, that these regions rebel, they go gray, and they end up with, you know, some relatively high armies in those, you know, cities when they've been recaptured by the rebels. I don't, however, want to do that to Catalonia. Catalonia is a good place for me to use as a rest stop like Switzerland. I go and fight, I can go back in there and I can heal. This army, I can't push through on the north, so maybe I can, I don't know, maybe send them south or make a run at Paris, I'm not sure. But we'll see. Okay, that one's totally burned down, that one's burned down. Good. There's no French coming at this point. Okay, so here's this one. Okay, take this one out. Catalonia into the game. That will help me. There. Can't use the troop, but we can use the troop to prevent them, as in Catalonia, from trading with the Spanish. Which is a good thing in itself. Okay, now we can leave. Wow, the French are all the way to my border now. Wow. There is like almost nothing left of the Prussians. Nothing. Hopefully what I'm doing here will have some effect on the French and they'll pivot towards me. If they don't, they move into Russia, and this is going to be a very short game. 
hoping to take this to 10 or 11, you know, episodes. That's good, that one rebelled. That means that that is no longer French. That's a good thing. I'm minding myself to make it run on Aquitaine now. I do the same thing there. Don't want to keep it, I'm just trying to cause havoc. And the other thing too is the more territories I can get to rebel, that's going to impact trade between Spain and France. It's a good army, it has a lot of chevrons. The artillery is doing very well. We're going to loot it and then burn it down. It's a. I don't know if it's a looting and burning everything down. I don't know if it's a tactic you guys have tried, but you know, if you're looking for money and an easy way to you know, hurt your opponent, that's what you do. Not going to burn down the supply house until it's absolutely necessary because it will allow my troops to heal faster. But I am going to go after Pamploma, Navarra, and do the same thing there that I did to the two French regions in the south. I'm going to take it. I'm going to burn it down and hope it rebels. And then that, in theory, will bring the Spanish down to three regions. Spain, Gibraltar, and the islands to the east of Spain. It's not a ton of it. That's what I need to do. Now the one thing you don't see here is I'm looting and I'm getting a lot of money, okay? Um, I'm intentionally not showing you that part because what I'm doing is I'm building up the infrastructure in Russia, the resources in Russia, and building an army to come and face the French in what used to be you know, Poland as a Prussian territory. I'm going to have to go and move my way through there. But that army has not been totally built yet, so you don't see it moving on the board yet. It's not you know, anything that's going to have any impact on points at this point. Points or dollars, I guess it's a better way to put it. Alright, so we're going to keep going north here because we want to do the same thing to Britannia that we've done to southern France. We're just trying to damage the French as much as possible. I see there is about a stack and a half in Paris. It's a lot of troops still. But we will do our best to do as much damage as we can. That's all for today. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.